All right, it's time to create with Quimby. And as we look ahead to those warmer and sunny days that uh, we keep saying will come at some point. Eventually. Yeah, you know, we're, I'm starting to doubt it a little bit, but uh, they will. They will eventually come. Well, many of you may be considering adding some color to the outside of your home with those warmer days ahead. Uh, yeah, I mean, what better way to make a good first impression than with a nice, sharp front door? But, you know, one of the most challenging things to paint can be the entrance to your home. Mm. So joining us live to show us the right way to do a pro paint job yourself is our DIY queen, Shannon Quimby. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, you two. How are you? We're good. good. We're good. I'm excited to see all these tips. I, I recently painted a couple interior doors and it was a bit more of an undertaking than I, than I <laughs> thought it was going to be. So I feel like I would be stressed, like pressure's on for the front door because it's the front door. Yeah, it, you're right. It is the front door and it's the door that you use most, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You go in and out of it. You touch it constantly. Most and visible. So why not, yeah. So why not pick a color? and paint it properly and so you can you know enjoy it to everlasting there you go okay I like works it. for me so, i like it yeah so the first thing you want to do is you want to get rid of the butt ugly color that you had on previously <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so by doing that you need to prep and so if there's any holes or gouges in the door you want to just you know get some wood filler fill in the holes, and then you want to take some sandpaper, probably like a 150 grit sandpaper, and sand, let, let the wood filler um, dry, and then sand it okay. so it becomes nice and smooth, okay? And then you definitely want to take a damp rag that's maybe with some um, you know, soap and water, and you want to then wipe it all off because, you know, once again, it's the front door, so there's a lot of grime on it, right? Right, mm. right. It's got that dirt that mm -hmm. you don't notice until you get real up close and personal uh. there, and then it's like, oh, my gosh, there's so much <laughs> yeah. to clean here. <laughs> and especially around the hardware, you guys, because your hands, right, there's a lot of oil. Yeah. And so you really do want to get that prepped and so forth. Now, the next step, which is so important, is that you definitely want to then um, – protect anything that you don't want to get paint on and um you could take your front door off its hinges if you wanted to but i'm showing how to do it with the front door on um i use two different sizes of painters tape i use the one inch and that's going to protect i just wrap that around it's not pretty but i wrap and protect all the hardware okay it's the job done. Then, yeah right and then the second is i like to use the two inch because if you found any, any windows and also on the side of the door right here, ah. the two inches, there right? The same size go. as this. Plus, I like uh, if you have any windows, this gives you a little more, you know, breathing room when you start to prime around the edges so you don't go on any of your glass. Okay. Okay. So I love, you know, I tell you, my, my first front door I painted, I used Miller Paint Day Spot. It became a national commercial. <laughs> it was what? so beautiful. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, and so this, so um, the next step, like I said, is priming. You want to use um, Miller Paints All Purpose. It's a stain blocking primer. That's really important because all that stuff that you missed with the soap and water, the primer is going to protect it. Okay. And so you just go around, use a two inch or two and a half. That's basically the width of the paintbrush. Angle, an angle brush. Okay. Mm. That's to get into the corners. It's also then not you're not going to get all the, that big glumpy um, uh, primer or paint if you use just a flat, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's going to um, get right in that, and then all the beveled edges and so forth. Now here's a fun painting tip, and I'm going to show you with the top color. Is and this is kind of of a professional tip here. Okay. Is you want to do a, a oh let the primer dry yes yeah <laughs> be, be patient on painting projects for sure <laughs> yeah yeah at least four hours okay um so the next step is then obviously pick your color that you want this is the color that i'm using because i love blue blue is my favorite color nice um and i used um celestial horizon it's kind of a mouthful but it's beautiful you want to take a low nap roller okay and you go over okay so this is on all the flat surfaces okay now here's the painter tip even with the low nap you're gonna have kind of this rough bubbly texture mm, okay yeah. 
take that, uh, the same type of paintbrush, that two inch, and you backstroke it. And oh, that's okay. Just kind of smooths it out that, that way. I see. So yeah. Smart. And so, you know, you think, oh, you know, that's, you know, oh, wow, that maybe is not, you know, such the big tip. But it really is because if you don't, then it kind of has more of a textured look. And you don't want a textured look. You want that nice, smooth, fresh, clean look, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very important. And so, once again, with the angled brush, after the primer, you get in all like this around the edges and so forth. And you're probably going to need um, probably, I would say, two coats. Okay. Okay. So let it dry in between and all around the edges. And the great thing about this project, you guys, is that you can get it done in a day over the weekend, you know. That's what I was wondering. So it takes four hours for the primer to dry. Then you have, you know, it takes, you look at it after two coats. Would there ever be a situation where you need more than two coats of paint and you need to let that dry for, and, and do it again? Or Travis, that's an excellent question. You know, um, you could, you don't want it. Sometimes the people are like, oh, if I put up a whole bunch of paint on, right? Mm -hmm. I get it all globby and I don't have to. No, you want to put the lighter, the lighter coats on that. And by using Miller Paints, um, the Acromamel, it's really durable. It's, gotcha. the, it's the number one exterior durable paint. And so by using lighter coats that, and then more coats, then obviously the durability of the paint is going to protect the color and protect the door for a much longer than if you did like one big, you know, glob. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it's also going to prevent um, the dripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes you don't sense. want the drips, and and yeah, this so, way yeah. you get that nice professional paint job that you can enjoy every time you come home from work, and and eventually it'll look like that picture inside. we were just yeah. showing. It'll, it'll look all nice and pristine there, just oh, boom. That's great. Yeah. yeah you know, I'll do this. When I get done with this, I'll shoot it over to you, and then afterwards, and we because I've had some great before shots, and I'll show you the after too. Yes, that'd be great. We love a good be before great. and after. Yeah. Please do. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. Well, it's well, Shannon, we know you've got you've got a few more panels ahead of you, so we'll let you get to painting. <laughs> Thank you so much for the walkthrough. Yeah, and I'll be done in just a few hours. All, All right. right. Sounds great. We'll be looking for it. We'll <laughs> see you then. Thanks, Shannon. And hey, a couple weeks ago, we had Shannon on to talk about color combinations. That's right. Like how to pick the right color for your front door. So check that out on coin.com, mm -hmm. uh, as, as, as well as the full list of supplies and instructions for this project. We got it all for you on our website. 